So this is from Becca2400, for-profit healthcare should be illegal, period. This is a really great TikTok uh, by Christy PM, and I had to share it with you because it's so insightful. Uh, she's so concise in explaining why for-profit healthcare is a giant ripoff. And uh, yeah, let's watch transparency video you know that back in january there was a requirement placed on hospitals that they needed to publish the prices of their common procedures so the public could see it is almost the end of august and less than 10 percent of hospitals are compliant with this but now this is a giant giant deal uh, i actually just did a story uh uh, or a video talking about the story from the New York Times where they actually look at the hospitals that did publish their prices. Uh, and it's evident why these hospitals don't want to publish the prices because it kind of reveals that it's all a ripoff. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll shut up and let her continue. But even more than that, look at this. This hospital put on their website, we understand that we're required to publish our rates. We haven't invested our resources into this because it provides something that will only be useful to our competitors. We aren't in it for them. We're in it for you. Could you imagine going onto a car lot and being like, hey, I want to buy a car. Can you tell me the price? And then they're like, well, we don't invest our resources into pricing out our cars because then the guy down the street might see our prices and try to sell you a cheaper car. So instead, just buy the car and I'll tell you the price afterwards because I care. And for the hospitals who are posting their prices, check this out. A colonoscopy common procedure. At this hospital, if you are paying out of pocket, you will pay an average of $1,400. But wait, for the same colonoscopy at a similar facility, if you are paying out of pocket, you will pay an average of $14,000. Now, do you think that this facility is sticking that camera up your butt so much better than the other facility that they get to charge you $13,000 more? No. Patients are going into crippling debt. This is the only industry where we just kind of accept this in the United States. And I think that slowly but surely people are waking up and they're realizing that private healthcare, private hospitals is a gigantic fucking scam. But I mean, when you see the price differences between hospitals for the same procedures, it's it's mind boggling. Like, I feel like there's no way you can't have this information and not become radicalized and immediately want to abolish private health care and, and private hospitals because they're, they're so brazen in how they rip people off. Medical debt is the number one cause of bankruptcy in the United States. Yet nobody is holding these hospitals accountable, and I am tired of it. Yeah, and that's why I will say that not only should the left be advocating for Medicare for All, but I really think that, you know, uh, we have to emphasize that Medicare for All is just a compromise. In actuality, I think that the main goal for the left should be to move us towards a national healthcare system like the U.S., no! where we have this NHS. And a lot of these hospitals, if not the overwhelming majority of them, is private, is, uh, excuse me, not privately owned, is, is nationalized. So, um, yeah, Christy, uh, Christy PM, or is it Christy PRN? Okay. Give her a follow, folks. Um, really great content here. Uh, yeah, Christy PRN.